Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Luck Horizon Season 1, Episode 24. And last episode, Shiro figured out that someone was attacking Akiba because there was a lot of unrest, a lot of fights happening between the people of the land and, uh, you know, the people in Akiba. So, yeah, he figured it out. And... Yeah, so that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash follow me. And I'll start this episode, and here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Groundless rumors. How would that destroy it? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's the one that's attacking, right? Chaos. <laughs> Merchant. So he's from the West. Ratata. Clip checks. <laughs> I want to understand what's going on, but I don't think I'm I'm understanding what's going on. <laughs> 
So what are you gonna do? Are your worst enemies? Wait, that's the girl. Ooh. I can't believe I was most excited for this particular thing <laughs> during the whole episode. I'll give you an idea. Uh -huh. I knew him showing up was going to make things clear for him. Usually, when I'm watching something that I am not fully understanding, then I tend to not talk, which was what this episode was about. Like, I was so confused about what was happening in the episode. Like, at the end of the last episode, Shirui said that the city was under attack, and then they showed the Lord Malvis, right? By the end there, so I'm like, okay, something's gonna happen. And then they started this episode, and Shirui was trying to figure out exactly what 
the goal of those all those disputes that were happening he was trying to figure out like what exactly is the plan you know to attack akiba and all that so i'm like here also like trying to figure things out things out and i was not able to i don't know this it was confusing like he had um akaski and he had the and you know people like all over the place each time there's a dispute that erupts he asks where that's happening and then he puts a pin on the map and he's looking at the map and it's like it's like all over the place he's not seeing any like patterns or something and then he got frustrated and then he went outside and that's when Sojiro showed up with his entourage and then just the way that Sojiro is so like carefree and doesn't really <laughs> basically he's trying to make it seem like Sojiro is dumb like he has a dumb way of dealing with problems so I don't know he used that I guess to sort of like start diffusing all the disputes that were going around the city so with the fact that this Lord Malvis showed up with the seafood or something, this large, this big shipment of food, I guess, or whatever, and then he said he sent in paperwork and all that, and that, like, normally, if all the paperwork that were coming in into Akiba, if all of those things were you know in order and all that then him sending this paperwork for the shipment that he brought in could have probably been processed normally or whatever so i'm assuming he started doing all the like creating all those um disruptions like sending in those fake paperwork and all that to sort of like confuse everything in Akiba so that his supposed paperwork that he sent in a long time ago would like slip under the radar is to make the I don't know I, I mean they said that they were trying to target the round table like trying to make the round table seem incompetent and then I guess the alliance between the round table and the East uh what's it called The League of Freedom Cities, yeah, Isto. I'm guessing he, he's trying to sever that. I don't know. I, like, I really don't know exactly what he's trying to do. But I got so excited when um, Shiroi showed up there. And the fact that he like brought up his eyeglasses and you know he had this look in his eyes and all that. You know he has a plan. So I'm super excited for that. But like during this whole episode, just like, what the heck is happening? Because I was not getting like what was happening at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting it. Hopefully, next episode will make things clearer because this episode I'm like eh, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting what's going on thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you want to see the next episode right now you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash kill me and you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Bye.